welcome back to Python Learn With Me. We are once again doing Python Crash Course book. Today we are finally moving on to chapter 5. So what we've learned so far in chapter 5 is how to use conditional statements. So that can be if statements, it can be and statements or statements. All of these are generally used to check if something is true or false so what that means is in a statement so let's let's make a list so let's just say um time of day is equal to night so the time of day is night in this statement so for this, let's say is it night time? I forgot my quotations. Let me go back. And then what we can do is come down and then print if time of day is night so this double equal sign is the conditional statement so in this thing it's going to give me a true or false statement so we're going to Save this code and then we're gonna navigate over to where our file is and now we are going to run it is it nighttime true so because we had this set to check if it was equal to night it gave us back true but if we swap this out for day and then run that same code, it'll give us back false. So in the first example of chapter five, what it wants us to do is create 10 of these condition checks and five of them should be true. Five of them should be false. And you should have some kind of statement saying what your prediction is, even though you're going to be the one writing them out. So we're just going to keep adding on to this list. I'm just going to say I predict false. Okay. And then we're going to come down here. We're going to write another one. We're going to call this list bars. We're actually going to indent this a little bit. Or not indent, but give it a space. Ours is equal to Toyota. Then we're going to have some print statements. Um, we kind of want this on a new line. Is this car a Toyota? I predict two. So now we can come down, write another print statement. If cars is a Toyota. So when we save this and run it, it now has our first two things. So we have one false, one true. We are going to need four more of each. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a bunch more statements just like this. And I will see you back. Okay. I just finished all 10 of my tests. So basically what you can do is you can manipulate these quote unquote tests to come out with a certain true or false value. So if you read through these, I have the questions set up to 
reflect what the list actually is, but by giving the program a condition to check, you can say if it's true or false. So this can be something like a username, like how it outlines in the book. If something along the lines of this is already taken and you enter in this, it would give you back false. So if your question was, is the username Zubat taken? and you were to check Zubat, it would tell you yes. But if you were to say is the username Charizard taken and this list does not reflect the same thing, it would tell you no, false. So when we run this code, it'll give you everything in false true, false true, false true order. So one thing do i do want to note is that this one right here where i'm asking if it's lg i have this in both uppercase so lg stands for life's good and same thing with like bmw bmw is a series of letters that are all uppercase now when python is scanning to see if this is the same thing it's going to look at this and say if this is uppercase or not and this reflects the case because it is case sensitive within python so we come over here it's a true statement but let's say we were to lowercase this and then run this code again it gives us false even though it is still saying lg because it is not um, the same case it reads it differently so if you were to write dot lower and change this down to lowercase it negates the whole uppercase thing it's gonna read it correctly so that when you run this test again it'll give you back true even though your your list that contains the item is still all uppercase what it's reading is gonna match this so if you wanted to read something that's not case sensitive and you just had it set in like this this is how you would write that out so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did give it a like share it and if you want subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to be going over example two